so. Hello guys. Today I'm chasing big perch in a small channel. So I set myself a goal this year. I want to catch a two kilo perch. It's not easy for anyone. But uh, you know, you need to get out there, fish. So right now I'm in a small, small, small Danish river system. Perfectly, there's a lot of water right now. It's really, really, really perfect, I think. So big perch in this time of year are coming in the small channels and uh, feeding, getting ready to spawn. So it's the right period and there's a lot of water. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna start up with the drop shot and I'm fishing with some new lures from Savage Gear. Sorry, can't show you guys, but uh, you have something to look forward to. And there's a lot of water in the rivers right now, in a small channel. So just getting ready for the first cast. And I have my waders on because I need to go a bit out in the in the water. Let's see if I can cast up there where there's some branches. This this small ch channel is perfect because there are small branches and trees going out and uh, over the the small channel and making cover for the perch. So they like to stand where there are some branches, trees making covers over the channel. So I'm putting out the first cast now. Let's see if we can catch a perch. So, as I said, this is perfect time of year for perch fishing. And now I'm just gonna see if somebody's home. I'm starting off with drop shot. Just to see if they are down. There's a lot of water in the in the channel right now, so I need to locate the fish. I'm going with the drop shot, the safe shot <laughs> to start off with, and I'm gonna fish a long stretch in this in this channel just to see what's gonna happen. So today it's just perch fishing. Going for that one big perch. Just gonna cast a bit more up. I need to find the branches where the fish is, where the, where the perch, I, I think they will stand in cover directly. So I need to go further on the other side. And I have two spots further up in the channel here. Just gonna lay a cast up there in the branches. Perfect. And it's a really, really, really small channel, so you need to find these points where the perch are standing for sure. I have a good spot up further up in the channel. But now I'm just starting off with the drop shot. Just to see what's going to happen. And it's the perfect time of year for big perch fishing. So this year I'm going all in for a two kilo perch. And I know every year in these small channels, they're caught even bigger perch. So I set myself for a two kilo perch this year. And I'm going all in. And I think maybe the water is a bit too murky. So I'm gonna change the color in a bit because murky water you I, I like natural presentation natural colors but like this very murky you need some bright spring colors in the bottom so I'm gonna change for sure so now I'm going for the small minnow fished on a re really really light net head five grams and it's gonna stand just like this on the bottom 
and jump. Every time I make a jig, it's gonna jump. So let's see, this is bright color, so let's see if they react on this one. And I'm just gonna let it sink down, so it's like it's flo it's a floating small jig, so it's gonna stand up at the bottom. And every time I make a just bounce with the rod tip, it will make a jump and stand right up on that small, perfect net head. <laughs> I was screwed. It's better to be in these branches than that one's. So, yeah, that's the charm, charm when you're fishing these small channels here. You, you, there's a lot of branches, and you, yeah, you, you need to do some very, very careful cast for sure. But I'm gonna now fish this point here. No reaction at all. I think, and maybe a small on the on the drop shot. So I'm gonna move further up in the channel. So, the second spot for now, this is a small pot, small hole, heavy branches just going out in the middle of the small channel river here. I always have two rods, you know, ready, because you never, you never know if it's, good, if it's gonna be jig or it's gonna be drop shot or what it's gonna be, so it's always good when you're closing up, up to the second spot just to have the two rods ready. So now I'm gonna give it a go right here. And this is a good spot. So I hope somebody is his home. Whoop. Laid him directly under the, those branches over there. And I'm just gonna drop shot the lure all the way home. And let's see, maybe something is home. Now I have even more bright colors on, so I know they see this lure. There we go. There we go. He she took he took it. It's not a big one, but could be a sign maybe the perch right now are coming back, but it's not a it's a nice perch. It's not a big perch, but it's a nice perch. And he, this perch couldn't resist the the new lure from Savage Gear, the drop shot lure. So just gonna make a quick release. Look, it's a beautiful one. It's not the one we after, but they're nice anyway. So I'm gonna let it go.
So now I'm only fishing the last light of the day and I really found them now. Fishing in this light setup with the net jig head and the minnow, floating minnow. They just hammer there. So this is perch fishing, not for the big ones, but I'm fishing ultra, ultra, ultra visible colors. And I'm just found, found a small pot right here, just casting. And it's, I cannot even retrieve when they take it. But this, this is only a small video in chase of the two kilo perch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and follow the next episode for my chase of the two kilo perch in this small, awesome channel. So guys, thanks for watching. And I will do one more episode of perch fishing in a small Danish river in chase of that two kilo perch. So guys, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button on my YouTube page and I'll do some more videos, perch fishing, etc. So guys, thanks for watching.